What's up, guys? How you doing? How are you? Good. Yeah, here we are. I'll try to answer anything I can to help you out. It's just uh, kind of what are you expecting from this Northwestern team, given the way that, that, that things have gone the last few months for them? Well, I think the thing you, you got to remember is they have a lot of experienced players. On defense, they're really strong up the middle. Um, you know, the, the two safeties, the two linebackers are really experienced. The, the McLaughlin kid who plays D end is an experienced guy. We're talking about fourth year starters, third year starters. Uh, so when half your defense has played that much football, they're, they're going to be ready to play. Um, you know, they had, a, if you look at their results, I know you look and say it's 1 and 11, but when you really dig deep, um, turnovers are what killed them. You know, when they didn't turn the ball over, a very good football team. It's uh, you know, not much unlike us. And if we can keep from turning the ball over, we got a chance. So um, yeah, I think they got experienced defense. I think on offense, you know, there's several transfers at wide receiver that are going to help. Uh, you know, the, I think Henning and was it Johnson? Those two guys, they're they're good players. You know, we watched them on Michigan tape and. Um, the quarterback, they have not announced who the starter is. Uh, they are different. Brian and Sullivan are different. So it'll be interesting to see who, you know, you prepare for both. Uh, one's more mobile than the other guy. One's more of a pocket type guy. Um, and then I think Cam Porter, their, their running back, is a special player. I think that unfortunately he had an injury that kind of set him back. But uh, from all accounts, he's back to who he was. And he's a 220 pound Big Ten running back that if we're not you know, buckled up, it's going to be a tough day. So, yeah, I think um, schematically they do a very good job, you know, offensively. I know Mike Bajakian, um, he's a good football coach, really, really good football coach. He's been at every level. Um, defensively, um, Coach Braun is, is running the defense, and if you look at what they've done in his past, you know, he's he has climbed the ranks and done it done it the right way um, at every stop and he's worked for friends of mine who speak really really highly of him so he was brought in there initially to fix the defense and uh, and then he got some more put on his plate obviously but um, and then special teams the same fellow that was running it who does an excellent job uh, he's still running the special team so from a schematic standpoint I think it's going to be more of the same everybody tweaks and um, does things, and I know you know with Coach Braun coming from a different school, he's got to adapt his system to their personnel. But you know, as a coach, um, there's certain things that your go-to things, and I'm sure we'll see those. Gavin, given that you named him the starter before training camp, I'm curious. Just is it fair to assume that he'll be allowed to play through mistakes? And I guess, for lack of a better term, just how long is how long of a leash is he working with? Yeah, I don't even like to get into that stuff. I'll tell you the truth. Um, He's our starting quarterback. I make decisions, which is always in the best interest of the team. What gives us the best chance to win? So I'm not going to address that. That's a hypothetical. Coach, um, what do you hope to see out of your defense in this uh, first game of the season? Well, they're grown. They developed. Uh, at times, we played good football last year, uh, good defense. And other times, we, we gave up plays. So we're deeper. Uh, we have more players that can play, which helps. It's going to be a very warm day from all accounts on, on uh, the weather forecast. So the more able bodies you have that can go out and play and play well, the more it's going to help. Um, there will be a lot of emotion first game. Uh, you're really going to have to work hard to make sure we can keep, keep everybody out there playing. From a scheduling perspective, what's it like and how do you feel about opening against a conference opponent? Well, it's been good. I think it gets everybody lit up and attent attentive. And not that you're not going to be attentive for anybody you open with, but I think when you put, you know, Big Ten in front of it, it, it gives you a little extra juice for sure. Can you talk a little bit more about your relationship between you and Bajakian? I know you guys both started as GAs at Rutgers. You guys both coached with the Bears, several other NFL stops, and just talk about your relationship. Yeah, we were never together, though. I don't know him extremely well. I know him professionally. Uh, I don't know him personally. But, you know, he's a Jersey guy, so uh, I know people who do know him.
Greg, you, you've said in the past that you know you thought players should be paid. I don't know if you caught Jim Harbaugh's comments yesterday about revenue sharing and what you thought um, of it. I didn't catch his comments, but I heard some people told me about it. You know, I, I want to focus on Northwestern because that's why we're here today. But I think it's on record. I, I believe that players should be paid for 20 years now. So uh, it's that's nothing new. Uh, I think we missed the boat a while ago. And I think we need to make it right. But again, I'd like to stick to Northwestern. Coach, last year you said that this team would go as far as the offensive line would take them. Feel a little bit more confident this year with the continuity and some of the new personnel and the coaching staff you have that they can take that step forward collectively? I think we have. I think we've gotten better. I mean, as I watch them practice, it's a better better product on the practice field. Now we got to take it to the game field. Obviously playing on a Sunday, then having the short week. I mean, how many adjustments like, did you guys have to put in place this week to kind of account for those schedule changes? Well, that's really my job to make sure that the young coaches have done the breakdowns and we're ready to go uh, once the game is completed on Sunday. But I've dealt with short weeks in college. I've dealt with short weeks in the National Football League. Um, you know, you just have to adapt your schedule a little bit, a um, little less time to get stuff done the following week. Um, but I'm excited. I mean, we got a chance to play on opening weekend, the only game on Sunday at noon. So um, be a lot of eyes on the, on the Scarlet Knights. How are you guys doing health-wise coming out of training camp, and are there any key players or guys with injuries that could prevent them from being able to play on Sunday? Yeah, you know, now I guess you guys are familiar with the report that's going to come out on Saturdays two hours before kickoff. I think we're going to just go to that from now on. That'll be the – you know, two two hours before it'll be announced, that's going to kind of be the standard now in the Big Ten, which I think is a good start. I really think we should do more. I think we're we need to make sure we protect the student athletes um, with gambling really growing the way it has. You know, when that information becomes so valuable. Um, you know, hopefully we, we're starting something here that'll grow my experience in the National Football League. I think that uh, they're doing a good job with that, the way that they get the information out. I don't know if we have to do it like they do, but I think, I think Commissioner Petiti is right on board. He, you know, we're going to get this thing rolling, and then we'll, we'll continue to grow, and I think we'll be a, a leader in that, in that fashion. Um, to open up uh, the season in a home environment, SHI Stadium, and you have several home games to start the year. How much of a boost is that just for your guys as a whole? Well, I love love playing at home, obviously. I love SHI Stadium. Love our fans. Um, I'm sure they're going to bring a huge home field advantage this weekend. Can't, uh, can't wait. Can't wait to get back there with them. Uh, I mean, I've been here a long time, a lot of years. I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, but I, we have some very loyal fans. And we're gonna we're gonna provide what they're looking for. I, I I believe that over time, it's a steady growth, and we're gonna continue to grow. And uh, like I've said before, we're gonna get it back to where it needs to be and beyond. But it's a it's a journey, and uh, we're all on that journey together. Our fans, our team, the university, the state. You have uh, a lot of depth at running back. How do you foresee carries being split up on Sunday or in? Do you, do you see a workhorse type guy, a committee? How do you see, see that? Unfold? You know, whatever gives us the best chance to win, that's how we're going to do it. And I, you know, how I predict that, you always go into the game with a plan, but then you know how things are going to change during the game. No, you don't know. So you have to be prepared to adapt, and, and uh, we will be prepared to do that. But again, playing time, all those things always come down to what gives us the best chance to win. Just uh, what did you see from Jaquay Jackson in camp, just the way he got acclimated both to the team and the way he learned the offense? Yeah, Jaquay did a good job. Um, again, he just started in, in the summer. You know, it's not like he's been here for a while. So he had to learn the playbook. He had to get used to how we condition, how we train, how we do everything. I think he's really done a good job at that. Um, I think his progress will continue throughout the year, uh, but he's very talented. So we're, we're grateful to have him run three hot topics by you. You already addressed two of them with Jim Harbaugh's revenue comments and the uh, injury report. I guess the third one is just the new first down rule. Uh, there's some talk about that after the first weekend of college football. I guess just how do you think that will impact the game? Have you guys prepared for it in, in training camp? And just what's your overall thoughts on it? 
Well, I just think you're going to have less plays. I guess what um, what I've read and what I've seen is there's been overall less possessions, uh, which obviously is less plays. Um, how that affects our game, you know, we're both playing by the same rules. So I think I think it'll be negligible. That I won't even try to say it, but um, it won't it won't be a big impact on the game. It'll just be what it is. This will be your 15th season opener at Rutgers. Um, still get that excitement level, still get that energy and buzz, and how's it different than 2001? Yeah, never been more focused than I am today, never been more excited than I am today about this team. Um, we've had some great teams here, some good teams, some not so good teams, but uh, I love coaching this team, I love our staff, and I love being back at Rutgers and in, in New Jersey, my home state, so I am I always tell our players, don't wish away time, right? Use every second you have to prepare, prepare, and then prepare through the event. Uh, so I'm trying to abide by my own, my own advice. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm real excited to get started and uh, to do it at home in a Big Ten game as the only, only game in the country. That's fun. What are you um, excited to see out of um, you know, some of the more veteran players on the defensive side of the ball, the guys that have been with the program for a long time? Well, there's several of them, right? And uh, it's nice. I've, I've talked to you guys about this, that I look at it as a pipeline. And finally, you know, they're not all the way to the end of the pipeline, but they're getting close. Um, so we have some guys that came in here, you know, a guy like Aaron Lewis who came in here at 6'5", 212 pounds. And now he's 6'5", 262 pounds. Well, that's a pretty, pretty big jump, right? And you play that out over a bunch of guys, Tyreen Powell, um, Jennings, you just go down, Robert Longerbeam, Max Melton. Now they're all starting to become grown-ups. Are they, are they at that full development stage? No, not yet. But they're getting closer and closer. And it's been my experience that when you get those guys on the back end of that pipeline, if they are really working the way these guys are, that they're going to play well. So I, I expect them to play well. Um, and we need them to play well to win. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.